point of view. I'm just de- to, I'm deviating from something that hasn't chat? been does substantiated. Your, does your God command you to come into chat rooms and push people around because I, you think I'd it's I'd like fun? the audience to does know. Your, does, your, does your God command you to be an asshole? Does your God command you to be about as charitable as a, as, as a skin flint? Does your God demand you to fucking push people out of the way? Does your God demand you to turn a nine-person hangout into a fucking seminar for your own purposes? Is that what your God says you're supposed to do? Could you point tweet me to which scriptures it says you're supposed to act like a shithead? The evolution does not have an intent. Like, it's not trying to crack a code. I did, oh, well, like, I didn't say that. It, I didn't say anything about intent. But do you understand that DNA is a type of a code? That, that's not the. Uh, that, <laughs> I saw what you did well, there. That's debatable, but that's yeah, not that, the same that's thing. Okay, that, you that's can so easily ahead. type into Google. You can easily type into the Google the, the phrase DNA code, and you will come up with a myriad of scientific of sites that refer to it as such. It's not the a site. The, the 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 DNA the DNA DNA code is a, is is a polymer. It's a string of nucleotides that code for the cell to execute a certain yes. type of protein it's not a re- reprodu- re- reproduction. It's not okay, a cipher. Now, it's okay, a well, yeah, you know, I heard that echo three times. Well, I'm going to keep saying I didn't it. Say, I didn't register. say that it was a cipher. Well, then I'm stop kidding. treating it like a cipher in your okay, analogy. Well, you, okay, said, well, you, said well, more, yeah. you said the more DNA... Well, you sound very better. upset. You said the more DNA clicks together, okay, the harder it would be, the more improbable it would be to Mm -hmm. get the right numerical sequence. That's hunting for a code. This is no, I didn't say on. it was hunting. That's, I didn't hunting, say hunting. that's hunting for the uh, right. You're putting answer. words into my mouth. Something that's which hunting is for the saying. right answer. Okay, you, you are have, setting this you up. You're setting this up in such right, a way. I'll wait. I'll wait till you're bloated. You, I think that'd be a great idea. You're setting this up in such a way that essentially the the, the the that that evolution is playing some sort of game of bingo, or guess the right number. It's not like that. This isn't there. The evolution isn't hunting for. Uh, Jackie was absolutely right. Evolution doesn't have an intent. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have a purpose. Who so said it did? Whole, I didn't say it did. You implicate. You you imply that with you your. Well, I said there have to be certain random events that have to transpire for there to be an increase of functionality and fitness in order for there to be survivability. Now I'll ask you a very simple question, Gus. What accounts for the specific arrangement of the genetic sequences in the in the DNA code? On what level? On the level of an individual? We're talking about at the base genome. The gene it could be a genome of a microorganism, it could be the genome of human beings. The genome is a specific arrangement of nucleotides. Now, what accounts for that specific arrangement? And the reason why I asked the question is that the vast majority <laughs> of, of potential arrangements would not yield functionality. Only a small subset of genomic arrangements of nucleotides yield functionality. Define so functionality. What, so, what, so the question, the question is, it means it means coding sequences that would code code for either anatomy or phys- physiology that would be functional, but not necessarily an increase of fitness. So, Gus, in your Define view, functional. what would what would what would what would account for the Define arrangement? I, I need what, to understand okay. the. Okay, are we going to play? Are we okay? Functional means it's some, something would work as opposed to not working. So by working, you are you saying are you are you saying? I'll give, that you, I'll give you an example. Suppose suppose we had a, a DNA sequence for an extra toe. Right. Okay. Now that toe could either be functional or non-functional. It could just be there and do nothing, or that toe could be movable and could be functional. It worked. Now okay. that functionality of that toe may or may not provide an increase of fitness that would aid in survivability and reproducibility. Okay? Now, getting back to my question is this. Um, I never said that there was an intent or a purpose, but what I am asking you is what accounts for the specific arrangement of nucleotides that would have to accrue over a long period of time that would then yield an increase of functionality and fitness. What accounts for that, Gus? That's a combination of factors, of which one of them is natural selection. Uh, no, uh, you're see again. You simply do not know what you're talking about. Natural selection acts upon increases of genetic information. 
Okay. Natural selection yeah. only yeah. takes place. Natural selection is this be a seminar only or takes a place. I, is this well, be a I'll be, I'll or be a very brief. I'll be very brief. You are incorrect, and here's why: is natural selection is what transpires after an increase of functionality and increase of fitness in the genome. Yes. So what accounts? What but, accounts for yeah, the? I heard the question. I heard the question. Yes, but what you're not taking into account is that natural selection is an external pressure that determines whose greater increased DNA gets passed on to the next generation. That doesn't answer my question, so I'll I'll, I'll rephrase it. So it you actually it does. It, I, it does. With, it does. It take an aggregate. Take within, an aggregate with my first answer. An, and within a Asked universal. And answer. Asked and answered. Okay, so Asked Gus, and answered. Gus, Gus does not want to simply answer the question. I did ask the question. I did because ask the question. Gus doesn't really understand what I'm talking the about. I did answer the question. I answered the question. Okay, You're strong, Annie. Are you done? Stop lying about me. Stop bearing false witness. Are you done, Gus? I invoke that you're bearing false witness, and I demand you okay. retract it. Good. By the tenets of your own religion, I invoke that you are bearing false witness, and I demand you retract it. Your God is watching. Are you done? Let's go! Are you done, Gus? Not by half. I can do this all fucking day. Okay, good. I'd like to respond without being interrupted. Do you? Think I want you, can... you. I want you to stop strawmanning me. And okay, I want you good. to stop bearing false witness to what I said. Good. Do you think? Or I will I jam can... this entire conversation to a fucking halt until well, you. Well, that that that's fine. I would enjoy seeing that because that doesn't make you look good. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Good. I will well, cover good. myself in fucking mud good. if I have to. My guess. To get you to be honest. To get be you to be guess. honest, I will cover myself in mud. To get mm -hmm. you to be honest. Now, are you prepared to stop strawmanning me? And revise your characterization of what I've said in order to be a, in order to be in line with factuality, or are you not? I don't understand any of that gibberish. What you just bullshit. Said. You understand it perfectly. These you are just generalizations. You understood it a minute past ago. I ask you the question again. I ask you the question again, sir. I ask you the question again, sir. Will you have honor today, sir? Will you go back and fucking revise what you've said about my answers so that it is in line with what's true? Do you think I should have honor? I'm sorry? That doesn't sound like a yes or no to me. Why are you requesting me that to have honor? That doesn't sound like a yes or no to me. Will you do this no, or no? No, I, I do, like I do yes what I choose to do, not what you tell me to do. You're not the only one who can set train tracks down for an answer. That That's doesn't correct. sound like a yes or no to me. No, it doesn't. So I will accept a yes or no. Well, that's fine. You can do whatever you want. We've got fun end games. Yes or no, Good, kiddo? That's, that's fine. Yes or no, sweet pants? Come on. Uh, well, I answer the, I answer the way you're I choose. Are you going to keep misrepresenting my answer or what? Are you going to keep misrepresenting my answer? I answer the way I choose to. You answer the way you choose to? If the way you choose to doesn't conform okay, with the truth, you, sir, you tell you'll stand me, you, to me. You tell me when you're done, Gus. No, no, I'm done when you do as you should do according to the tenets of your own fucking dogma. Are you a moderator in this room? I'm sorry, what was that? I can't hear your stupidity. Are Don't you talk moderator? stupidity and I'll be able to hear what you have to say. Okay, well, if there's something that you think I should do, make it, make it your case that I should do something. I've already told you what you should do. Why should I do that? And now you're pretending not to understand. Why, from your worldview, should I do I'm not, not going to get into that shit. I'm not going to get into that shit. Where shoulds and I'm not going to care. Guys. I'm not going to care. I'm using your own worldview. This is your okay. worldview we're talking about. Okay. Well, you I'm don't making, accept I am holding worldview. you to your own standards. I'm holding you to the standards in your own Bible. I'm holding you to the commandments of your own God. Mm -hmm. That's well, you. According okay? to you. That's you. That's your rules. To you, no, 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 according to me. Our species. God isn't going to give a. God isn't going to give a fuck how many atheists told you what when the time comes. God doesn't care about how many atheists told you what when the time comes. That's the commandments that was given to you in his book. What God? Now, why aren't you following them? What God? God? Your God. And don't start with me. You know which God I'm oh, talking well, about. Well, from your point does of your view, I'm, just, you to, I'm deviating from something that chat? hasn't does been God, Does your God command you to come into chat rooms and push people around because I'd, you think I'd it's I'd like fun? the audience to does know. Your, does, your, does, does your God command you to be an asshole? Does your God command you to be about as charitable as a, as, as a skin flint? Does your God demand you to fucking push people out of the way? Does your God demand you to turn a nine-person hangout into a fucking seminar for your own purposes? Is that what your God says you're supposed to do? Could you point tweet me to which scriptures it says you're supposed to act like a shithead? Because well, I'd be interested in seeing them. Is that King James Bible or fucking New Reserved Revised Standard? Well, every time you have a meltdown like this, I enjoy does it because it like makes you look bad. The things that are melted into a yeah, puddle sound completely incoherent to you? 
yeah, you don't sound like you're being rational right now. Well, I don't give a shit. I may not sound okay. like I'm being rational, but there's a lot of people who think what I say yeah. make a lot of sense. Yeah. You know well, why? Because they've said some version of it to you themselves. Well, I think you do a disservice to yourself. I don't yourself care. You talk I really don't way. care. I don't have to. I don't have to. I'm I'm in the fucking luxurious position of not having to give a shit. I'm condemned already. Mm -hmm. Remember? What's your mm -hmm. excuse? What's your excuse for not following the tenets of your faith? What's your excuse for not obeying the Bible? What's your excuse? Now you you see Jackie. This is what a classic Hello, example. Hello. What's your of excuse? No, 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 no. Leave Jackie alone. Leave Jackie leave alone. Stop Jackie? fucking around. You're talking to me now. You're talking to me now. No, what do you actually, mean? I'm what talking to you. Don't get to me. You don't get to be star. You don't get to be star quarterback anymore. We're playing both sides of the court now. Now it's your turn to play defense. Can anybody now, tell now me? Your, now it's your turn to play defense. Could anybody tell me what now, Gus now, now, now it's your, Hey, are you paying attention? You're not the star quarterback. Yeah. It's you and me, sweet cakes. Come on. Could anybody else? Why won't you? Why won't you stick to the tenets of your I'll, own faith? I'll wait, I'll wait till you're done ranting. I tell you what. You know what? You know what, what would be a great place for you to wait in a country called Smarten Up. That'd be a great place for you to wait. What a person! What a person you could be! What an addition to this community you could be! What a wealth of knowledge and care and, and, and capacities you have. What a skill with rhetoric and flourish you have. And what, what such things that you could share with this community. If only you weren't fucking hell-bent for leather on being some holy rolling, cheap-ass, skit-following fucking predator. And that's what you are here. You're an intellectual predator. You come looking for weak targets. People who you think you can push over easily. And the minute somebody steps to you with a real challenge and forces you to fucking play on an even field, you're gone. You fucking ghost like Swayze. Psycho was right. You're the most cryingest motherfucker up in here. About the only thing you haven't done is cry for a moderator. I'm surprised you haven't done that. You did that back in MK's room. I'm surprised you didn't do it here. Why won't you follow the tenets of your own faith? Why won't you show kindness and charity? Why does it always have to be about beating people senseless around here? Why is it always about making them look stupid, Darwin? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of that people might actually think you're fucking worthwhile? What's wrong with you? I know what's wrong with me. What's wrong with you? Are you done? No, not by half. Okay. Why don't you on. challenge yourself? Why don't you challenge yourself and answer any of the questions I've asked you in the last 60 seconds? Why don't you challenge yourself? What's the matter with you? Why do you have to be like that? What a, what a place for exchange of ideas this place could be. If people like you would only stop trying to cut the weaklings out of their herd and smash them for your own pleasure. Why? Why does it matter? Teach them. But teach them gently. Such a, such a person you could be. And yet you choose to be base and, you know, now i got to spend all my fucking time yelling at you. Why? I'd much rather listen. But you got nothing to say that you don't say 50 times over. What's wrong with you? Are you sore? Do you have do you have some sort of physical pain? Is this something we can help with? Can we tell you you're a good person? Can we tell you that deep down inside you matter? Is there some way we can help? Because this is getting boring, Darwin. It's getting boring watching you work, man. It's getting boring watching you work. You know how sad that is from a guy like me who knows next to nothing about the scriptures? You know how sad that is? Wouldn't you rather walk away from a place like this knowing that you had taught people something, even if they even if they begrudgingly wouldn't tell you to your face that you had? There are so many theists here that people love and respect. Wouldn't you want to be one of them? Why must it always be about blood on the floor for you? And this is me talking, the king of blood on the floor, and I'm telling you to take it easy. Doesn't that fucking matter? Don't you care? Your God commands you to love us. What have you done in the last four or five days that shows that you love any of us? I think you show more love to your dog than you show to us. I challenge you to answer me. I challenge you to answer me in any substantive way that doesn't involve rhetoric. I challenge you. Will you not take that challenge? Are you, you just gonna are you just going to brush everything I said to one side? Gus, are you what, Why do you think the Paltalk Power Rangers exist, Darwin? You conjured them up. Your behavior conjured them up, Darwin. You made them exist, Darwin. The Paltalk Power Rangers wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you. You did that. And then when you came screaming over here from Paltalk, you dragged them with you. And you unleashed them, not just on yourself, but on us. 
oh, they're fantastic as long as they're attacking you or they're able to uh, occupy each other with philosophical talk. But once they get bored, this place turns toxic as a motherfucker. And none of that would exist if not for you. You did that. That was what your style of rhetoric and, our, and apology and argumentation has done. That's what you created. Do you feel no responsibility for that? Don't in, in French that we have a saying: Have you no head? Have you no heart? T'as pas de tête? T'as pas de cœur? Have you no head? Have you no heart? Am are I you, alone here? Are, is is are it just you, are me? Are you done, Gus? Am I alone here? Is it only me? No, no I, I, I said the same I'm thing to him. Finish, Gus. I said the same thing to him earlier. Not so many elegant words. Yeah. Are you done, Gus? And, and his response is: Are you done, Gus? He hasn't listened to words you said. He just ignores you and he's just waiting for you to finish talking. It just goes to show what a decent, caring, courteous, honest person he is. Why, Darwin? Just, just humor me. Give me the greatest gift you could ever give me. And just tell me why. Why? It doesn't make any sense, Darwin. You don't have to be that way. Just tell me why. That's all I ask of you. And you can't even grant me that. Gus, are you done? No. No, I'm okay, not. Keep, keep going. I'll do this all afternoon if I have to. Please go ahead. I'm enjoying until, this. Until, until you listen. Yeah, I know you're. I know you'll record, you'll record it all, put it all up on your channel. Atheist Meltdown. That's what you'll say. No, and, no, no. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't put, I wouldn't put Atheist Meltdown. I would put Atheist Hemorrhoidal Attack. Yeah, Hemorrhoidal Attack. Yes, really? when someone basically... What was, the last time, what was the last time I accused you of having a hemorrhoidal attack? <laughs> When was the last time? When was the last time I referred to any of your bodily functions? You know, the first person to, to bring up hemorrhoids around here is you. I never heard anybody talking. I and I'm telling you, some of the people around here say some pretty prurient shit, and I've never heard anybody around here talking about hemorrhoids until you came along. Why does it have to be a hemorrhoid? Do I sound like I've got painful hemorrhoids? Yes. Do you, know, you know what a human being sounds like when they have painful hemorrhoids? Ah, yeah. my fucking arsehole yeah. hurts. Like That's you. what they sound like when they have painful hemorrhoids. Yeah, I'm hearing it right now. No, you're not. You no, you're not. Well, then how how, how how do you how do you account for your tirades? I am trying to get you to hear me. Why won't you hear me? Oh, I'm listening. No, you're not listening. You're waiting. You're not hearing me. Why won't you hear me? Do you really think Do you really think that I am so depraved as a person that absolutely nothing that I've said should register with you at all? Is that yes. really what you think? Yes. That 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 even a busted watch can't be right twice a day. I don't think I don't see anything that you've said is correct. Really? Yeah. Really? You you don't come in here, you're not your behavior doesn't border on abusive. You don't you don't take over chat rooms, push eight sometimes eight people at a time into one corner while you work away at the person who you think is is the weakest there. When people try to I, edge I, I into have, the con I had no such magical ability, Gus. It's not a magical ability, it's it's a very it's a very well practiced skill. I'll oh, call you a lot of okay. things, but I won't call you unskilled, and I won't call you stupid. Mm -hmm. It's don't a call very like practiced your, skill. Gosh, don't call I don't know like where you practice this skill. I don't know. I don't know how you decided to pick this skill up or where you learned it, but you've learned it well. Gosh, have, very, you ever heard, have you ever heard the expression "verbal diarrhea"? Really? That's what you got out of that? After all I said, that's all you got was verbal diarrhea. Yes. Yes. Really? Yes. Why? Are, why are you here, Darwin? Why are you here? If God um, walked up to you and said, if God looking like Morgan Freeman or anybody else you want walked up and said, da, da, Darwin, tell me why you go there. Why would you tell him? Why why do you come here? By the way, you can call me Duncan. I'd call Duncan. you whatever you like. That's not the point. Why are you here? No, it's it's Darwin's Deity. You can change your name to try and avoid Skylar's videos, but your let name him, is Darwin's Deity. Him whatever he, let him call himself whatever he wants to call himself. Yeah, a person gosh, you, can a right, call me, you can call me Evolution a Boss. Person, a person you has a right. You can call me Darwin's Deity. You can call me Stephen J. Fould. Um, you can call me George Taylor. Or you can call but, me Duncan Duncan Dawkins. But that doesn't answer the question, <laughs> That doesn't answer the question, Duncan. Did you like that, Christopher? Why won't you I, I like the fact you have all these sock accounts that are basically like what? troll -ish you memes. Why, what, is, what, is, what is it about my question that scares mm -hmm. you so much you won't answer? Okay, so Gus, are you done? Are, why won't you answer my question? It's a simple Gus, question. Gus, why are, are you here? Done? I've been waiting this time to respond. And you'll wait, you'll wait longer, too, until I'm well, satisfied. Well, keep, keep, keep going, Gus. Well, why, won't, why, why are you here, Darwin? What is it that I'm, you're I'm enjoy, to accomplish? I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying you accusing me of uh, co-opting the room. Well, sure. 
but that's not originally why you started coming here. You didn't know anything about me before you started coming here. So why are you here in general? Why do you keep coming into rooms? I mean, you come into rooms where I'm not there, so I can't be the reason that you're in every one of those rooms. So why? Why do you come here? What is it that you want? Everybody wants something. I come here for the company, frankly, and every now and then I like to have a fight. Why do you come here? It's obviously not because you're lonely, because you've got no regard for anybody here. So why are you here? What is it that you want? You know, a really easy way to get what you want sometimes is just to let that thing under your nose and above your chin open up for the purposes of communicating what it is you want. Because good Lord knows you've got no trouble talking about all sorts of other stuff. So why are you here? I know before you ask, I'm not done. Why are you here? Hmm? You're here to have debates. I'm, you... I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for you to stop your ranting. Are no. you done? No, not a chance. Okay, why keep going. Keep going. Why are you here? Are you are you that stubborn? You won't even you won't even give that little bit away, huh? Do you think it's is it part of a cosmic plan? Do you think you'll turn into a pumpkin if you, you know? Did did you have a vision of God one day and he told you that you had to come on G plus and debate? And if you came on G plus and debated and told anybody why you were here, he'd turn you to salt. Like there's got to be a good story behind this somewhere. He's trying to. Make us Christian or something. At least that's what he's going to say. I'm not sure that's true. Are Are you done, Gus? Are you done? Are, are you Are you trying to win souls? Are you trying to convert people? Is that why you're here? No, he's not done yet. Okay, keep are going. You to, are keep you going, trying God. to Are you trying to win souls? Is that why you're here? It should be yes, but I don't know. Are, why? And you know, so much for always having to give an answer. But then again, I guess that doesn't apply to us. You know, I guess that doesn't apply to the benighted. Are you here to win souls? Hmm. Yes, no, maybe so. Because if you are, you're going about it real shitty. Are, are you, you here done? To, are, Gus, are no, you done? No, not even slightly. No, okay, I'll go. keep at keep it. Please start answering my questions. Keep I'll going. Keep at it. I'll keep at it. I can do this keep all going. fucking day. Be my guest. Go ahead. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying your rant. I know. I know you're enjoying it enormously, and that's great. But what you don't understand is I'm enjoying it too. So it's a question of whose enjoyment runs out first. I guarantee you, I was born stubborn. I don't know about you. Why won't you answer me, darling? What is it? What is it that you think you'll give away by answering me? Am I really so depraved? And if I'm so depraved, why do you bother talking to me or people like me at all? Why do you bother talking to the depraved? What's in it for you? What's in it for God? I mean, you're not a Calvinist. You don't believe in predestination. You were arguing with the Calvinists this morning. It's about the only fucking right thing I've ever heard you do. So you obviously don't believe in predestination. Well, where did you get the idea that I don't believe in predestination? That's what you said this morning. No, that's incorrect. Oh, I see. You so see, you do believe in I can demonstrate. I can demonstrate here right now. You don't have the foggiest clue of what you're talking about. Well, maybe, but that still doesn't good, mean good. my tell, questions. Tell maybe, the room. Maybe, tell but that still room, doesn't. Tell well, the room, tell the room. What my position, tell the room what my position is on predestination then. Well, you just got done telling me I don't know. So what? Um, so what I, would it? What easy, would it benefit? It's easily demonstrable. Go okay. ahead. So you got done telling. You just got done telling the room that I don't know. So why do you want me to tell the room? Did you? Did you just say on the microphone that I deny predestination? I did. Yes. Okay. Good. How do? How did I deny predestination? Are you denying the denial of my denial? I'm waiting for your support of your claim. I've I've conceded the claim. Oh, you were Darwin, tracking your claim. Darwin, I've I've conceded the claim. Good. Okay. Good. Then we can move on. Well, maybe. I'm glad you but conceded. You, but you you were arguing with the Calvinists about some fucking thing this morning, so you obviously don't agree with right, everything. They have, right. Right. That that's that's correct. However, so do you believe? You're, so do you believe however, in predestination? Your memory. Your memory, Great. My memory, my memory is okay. shit. Fantastic. Are you, you going to let me respond to you? No, no, not like that. No, not if you're not if you're just going to do it to make me look stupid. Okay, well, you keep on ranting. Go ahead. I'm okay. enjoying you being a drama queen. Well, I know. Oh, right. sure. Keep going, and Gus. And there's a whole long list of people who will say, you know, why is Gus fucking doing to Darwin what Darwin does to everybody else? But you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's about fucking time somebody did it. It's about time. And if and if nobody else wants to be the asshole, I'll be the asshole. I don't care. I really don't care. But well, if it, if it the thing me. is, you really don't have to work hard at it. You're absolutely right. I was born to the role. 
You know, and your own God says that sometimes he uses different people for different things, probably according to their own talents, although that isn't mentioned in the scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, in, in fact, he used a jackass to speak to Balaam. Absolutely. So think of me as a jackass talking to you, and yet you still haven't decided to you answer know, anything. I've that is you. pretty close to how I picture you. That's great, but my questions are still salient. You can you can denude where the questions are coming from, but you can't if, denude the if questions you want themselves. It, you know, if you want to think so. You can't denude the questions themselves. Yeah. A piece of a piece of manure could ask you the questions I've asked you, and they would still be salient questions. So, Gus, are you isn't, done isn't with your that, isn't, rant? Isn't, isn't that the genetic fallacy? Guys, isn't that the genetic fallacy? I think that is the genetic fallacy. Obviating points and questions because of where they may come from. I think you just committed the genetic fallacy. Hey, what do you know? I identified a fucking logical fallacy. Maybe I'm learning after all. Why won't you answer any of my questions, Darwin? What's the problem? What are you afraid of? If I'm such a jackass, if I'm proving myself to be such a fucking idiot, what have you got to fear by answering the questions I asked you? Are you done, Gus? No, not by half. Keep going, Gus. What have you got to fear? You're obviously afraid of me for some reason. What are you afraid of? What are you scared of? Just answer a few questions. It's no biggie. I'm curious. I'm sure you get curious. Every time you get curious, people answer your questions. How come you can't answer their questions when they get curious? How come it's always one way with you? It's like a marriage where there's only one person putting out. So it's no wonder nobody's happy in the end. So why won't you answer? It's not that big a deal. Why is it such a big deal? It doesn't look like a big deal to me. Why are you here? Why do you feel such a need to be combative with people to the point of abuse? Do you not understand what you could achieve if you switched your tactics? Really? Not, not the time of day for those questions? Reasonable questions? If anybody else had asked them, you'd see them reasonably, or maybe you wouldn't, I don't know, but they seem reasonable to me. But you can't be bothered? Not even a bit? Can't be arsed? Jeez, that's too bad. That's really too bad. But if you think that's going to make me stop, you're crazy. Because I just keep asking the questions. I wonder if I should phrase them in a song. Maybe you respond better to singing. You respond better to singing. I could hum a little bit. Mm. Darwin, why won't you answer me? No? Not even a little? Are you done, Gus? Not by half. I'll keep going, Gus. Okay, I will. Why won't you answer me? Knock, knock. Knock, knock, Darwin. Knock, knock. Open the door. Open the door. It's the welcoming committee. They want to welcome you. Stop staying in your house and peeing out the window. You're lowering property values. Knock, knock. Why can't you be a nice guy, Darwin? Or Duncan? Or Festivus, or whatever your name is? Hmm? Why can't you be a nice guy? Why you got to make people so mad at you? What's wrong? Is it a childhood trauma? You don't have to tell us what it was. You can just discuss the childhood trauma. Not, I'm sure it's not one childhood trauma that would do this to someone. Probably a lot of childhood traumas. That's pretty sad. We're a pretty we're a pretty understanding bunch, you know. Most of us. Even the ones that sound like jackasses. But you're mean. You're mean to people. Why are you mean to people? What does it matter if you beat down some internet atheist? What does that matter? And if you're really and hey, here's another question that you're not gonna answer. If you're really interested in having an absolute knockdown, drag out fight where you show an atheist the fucking fucking folly, the peril of their position. Why aren't you going after the big fish? Why aren't you going after the Dillahunties? Why aren't you going after the Aaron Ross? Why aren't you going after the Stuart Smalley's, the Seth, uh, whatever the guy's last name is? Why aren't you going after those guys? Why aren't you going after the big game? Or hey, if you don't even want to go after those guys, how come I never see you in a conversation with Ozymandias? How come I never see you in a, con in a, in a philosophical hangout? You know? Every time you end up in Xboxes hangout, it's always to just start shit. I never see you talking to the big fish around here. When was the last time? Uh, when was the last time you took any of those dudes on? Hmm? You know, never take them on. No, you come into the you come into the free fire zones where you can push the mod around, and that's what you do. You push the mod around, and you piss, wail, and cry until you get what you want. No, he got in a conversation with Ozzy once. Ozzy beat him down. Well. 
Wow, geez, that's one time. That's one time. Let's multiply it by 10 to be generous. That's, by the way, something I do that you're not familiar with there, Darwin. That's I multiply it by 10 to be generous. That's still, that's still fucking a, a gazillion times less than you come around here looking for weak atheists to beat up on. Because be honest, between you and me and nobody else, is, everybody, shh, plug your ears. That's what you're looking for, aren't you? You're looking for the weak atheists. Huh? You want, you want the weak ones. You like to hear their bones crunch between your teeth. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, what do you got? Finger looking good. What's next? How come you never take on the really strong atheists? How come you never take on the ones who really know what they're talking about? How come you won't have a discussion about evolution with Fiona? When was the last time you had a discussion with, with evolution, with, about evolution with Fiona? I don't know. Has it ever happened? I don't know. Maybe, somebody, maybe it has happened. Somebody will correct me, but I don't imagine that that's something that's happened. I know you've talked to Steve McRae a bunch of times, and I know he's, he's tried to put you straight. But you've got him on your troll list, so I don't know how often you're going to talk to him. Hey, though, if you really, really want to test the strength of your steel, why don't you go to those 15 questions that have been up on the Internet since the dawn of fucking time, forget where they came from, and just try to answer them? If you really want to test your fucking metal, why don't you go through those questions one by one and fucking put an answer up? Any answer. Any answer would be fine. Well, part of the reason that list is so effective is they fucking hold it up there, and you don't answer. You don't answer them. You haven't had an answer since the point that that list was generated, and since then, the time that I've seen you come on these internets here, on these hangouts, you've only ever answered one satisfactorily, and it came from me, and then I find out later that your answer was fuckered anyways. So why, if, you're, if, you're looking at, if you're looking at really making your mark, why don't you start there? Instead of coming into hangouts and picking whoever you think is the weakest person and fucking working them over until what? What? Until they bleed? This brings you honor? This brings you glories? Uh, you hang that on your wall? It's like a scalp or something? Oh, look. I made Jackie, I made, you know, Jackie wonder if she knew all of her facts about evolution. Oh, fuck me. Scare me some more, hero. What? This, this is what amuses you? Why? Why? Is it because to do otherwise would involve actually having to do some work? Actually having to know what you were talking about? Actually having to have a, a level of actual scholarship rather than just sophistry? If that's what you're worried about, I don't see it. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe, you've all, maybe your knowledge about these things is a mile wide and an inch deep. If that's the case, you're doing a pretty good job hiding it. So what's the problem? Why? You just will never answer. And you just keep doing what you're doing. And it doesn't make a lick of sense. Nobody understands. And you keep bouncing around from hangout to hangout trying to do this same thing, this tired old dance you do. And sooner or later, people get fed up with you. They gang up on you, the hyena gang. That's right, because that's the only way to deal with you. That's the only way to deal with you. You won't be charitable. You won't play both sides of the court when left to your own devices. You will eventually create a two-person dynamic where all you do is sit and talk to one person for hours at a time, and everybody else has to sit quietly and watch it happen. All I'm doing to you now is what you've done to people over and over again, room to room to room. And if anybody says anything to you, you flip out and you fuck off, but you're never gone for long. I've seen you bump in and out of four or five rooms in, the, in a fucking day. So what are you afraid? You're obviously not afraid to keep coming in and trying it over and over again. Christ, even Seamus has, has a better set of methods than you do. You don't see Seamus picking on weak people. You don't see fucking Seamus just trying to figure out who the weakest person is and beating them down. I've watched Seamus in his own way. I've watched Seamus in his own way attempt to edify people and teach them and show them things. He doesn't ask them the same question 15 times in a fucking row because he's trying to make some sort of rhetorical point. As, as arrogant and as fucking, you know, football spike at the end zone as Seamus is, on his worst day, he's a better teacher than you. But that doesn't have to be. The two of you could be on equal footing. When you first came here, you admired Seamus Christ. You thought the sun shone from his asshole. And there was a lot to admire about Seamus. I'd be the first person to say that. Seamus has a top-notch scholarship. If I want to know something about that period of time, or if I want to know something about the, 
about the manuscripts, at least from the position of a theist, I won't hesitate to ask Seamus. He knows fuck all about the Roman Empire, but we can't know everything. But you, and I wouldn't be afraid to ask Seamus, I wouldn't be afraid to have Seamus turn around and flip a script on me and try to fucking pin me and try to make me look stupid. I wouldn't be afraid of that, first of all, because it's not possible, and second, because it's not what he does. But you, if I walked up and asked you a question, you'd, the very next thing out of your mouth would be, well, now let me ask you a question. And you'd spend the next hour and a half trying to figure out what the fuck. You'd spend the next hour and a half trying to make me look stupid. That's not how you teach people anything. Do you not understand that? You have nothing to say except to ask me if I'm done? Nothing at all? Are you done ranting, Gus? You really, really have nothing to say to that except to ask me if I'm finished? Are you are you done, Gus? Of all of those of all of those things I've said to you, you have no comment whatsoever? Gus, are you done? No. Okay, keep Answer going. me. Answer me. Answer me. Come on. Just give me an answer. I'll tell I'll tell you what. You give me one fulsome, honest answer, and I'll be done. I give you my word. Give me one answer in the spirit of which I ask the questions, and I'll be finished. I give you my word. No? Not even one? I guess you're not crazy to have this end yet. I guess you really don't want this to stop. This is what you want. You want to keep me talking because you think every sentence I, I utter makes me look stupid. All it does is make me look tiresome. Tiresome is different from stupid. A pe being a pest is different from being an idiot. You got your pretexts wrong. You have nothing to say? You won't even take me up on my offer? Answer one of my questions in a truthful and open manner and I'll shut up, I promise. I give you my word. Gus, are you done? You, you just can't even hand that over, huh? Are you done ranting, you Gus? You can't even hand that over, no, can yeah, you? Okay. You can't even hand that over, can you? Is this is this really how your mind works? Is this is this really the intransigence of Darwin's deity? Is that is that how it's going to be? Does that make the slightest bit of sense to you? Hmm. Darwin, talk to you. Knock knock, knock knock. Atheists want to be friends. Knock, knock. Come out and play. You don't have to bring your football. We have one. We have a football for you. Come on. Knock, knock. All you got to do is be nice. You can come out and play. All you got to do is pretend that we're people too. Can you pretend that we're people too? Can you pretend that it matters to us too, how we feel when it's all over? That we're not pop-up targets? Can you do that? Is that possible? I think it is. Do you think it is? Hello? Hello, telephone. Telephone for Darwin. Telephone for Darwin. Who is it on the phone? Atheists. Come out and play. Let us sit and reason together. But with you, it's let us sit upon the ground and tell sad tales of the death of kings. Why must we do such a thing? If you truly have truths to teach us, must you humiliate us first to teach them? If you truly have the answers to the cosmos, do you have to be an asshole to put them across? Is that really what you need to be? Was Jesus an asshole? Was he really? Okay, I was AFK for quite a while. Is Gus done? No, you weren't AFK. Okay, okay. You were right there. You were right there. It's like those times when you say you're walking your dog. You're not walking your dog. You're stepping away from the keyboard so people won't bother you anymore. It's all a tactic to you. Does that seem strange to you that it's all a tactic? Does that bother you a little? Just, just a little bit? Not even a not even a slice, not even a tad, not even a pinch. No conscience at all when it comes to this. Hmm. Really? Not even an ounce's worth of conscience. Not even like a milliconscience, a pico conscience. 
Ask me again if I'm done. Go on, ask me. Come on, you know you want to. Ask me again if I'm done. Are you done, Gus? No, not by half. Okay, keep going. But I'll, but I'll, be, I'll be done the second you answer one of my questions. That's all you have to do. Just answer one of my questions. And I'll stop. I promise. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a pass for a whole day for 24 hours if I see you in a hangout. If you join a hangout I'm in, I won't bother you. If I see you in a hangout, I won't go in. Come on, 24 hours. Gus free. Hey, who doesn't want a chunk of that, huh? Christ, I could offer that to some of the fucking atheists I know, and they'd be on that can, like a monkey on I, a cupcake. Can I take it? Hey, monkey on a cupcake. <laughs> I offered that to some of the atheists I knew. Ooh, they'd be harder than Chinese algebra. Look at art. If art got any, if art got any harder, they'd call him the Russian tripod. Look at this. Maybe it would help if you're repeating your questions. No, he knows Maybe what the questions are. No, okay. honey, he knows what the questions are. Mm. He knows what the questions are. There was one road to salvation here, just one. And he knows how to take it. Right? So that's what his theism has been telling him for years. So he knows, he knows how it goes. Gus, are you done? Are you? Are you done? You done, Darwin? Darwin. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. Atheist at the door. Hello. Oh, who's that? Atheists. They want you to come out to play. They brought a cheese basket. Cheese basket. With Havarti. Hey, Havarti's expensive. Don't knock that shit. I like cheese. See? They're giving you their cheese. Come out and play. Don't you like puppies? Puppies! No. <laughs> oh no. A trigger jockey. Barbecue or some other. Oh, no! Fit. No! Living puppies, please. Well, I. I oh, you're a monster. You want to eat living puppies? No! What's wrong with you? No! <laughs> no well, I, what started on Pal Talk was something called evolution false derangement syndrome, and it started with one person. It started to spread to others. But the funny thing is, it's actually spread over here to um, Google Hangouts where certain individuals who don't like what I say, they don't like how I dialogue with others, and they become not only obsessed with me, but they're obsessed about blocking me in any way they can by interrupting, over-speaking, or, for that matter, co-opting the entire room just so they can prevent me from speaking. And what's, what's, what's amazing is it is literally spreading from certain persons to persons here on the Google Hangouts. So this is something that Google Hangouts may want to look into. I don't suppose anywhere in your explanation is room for the question why. Why? Well, why what, I'm, what I'm curious, what really raises a question in my head, is why um, Gus, who when I first met him, started out giving intellectual responses, and now he's emulating the power reprobates in just simply attempting to blocking me from speaking at any time. When I, I first mean, for, met for the last hour, for the last hour, Gus has been over talking and blocking me from responding in any way, which is exactly what the Power Rangers, I prefer to call them the power reprobates, are, are doing. So what is it about so many of the skeptics on uh, Google Hangouts that they're obsessed about blocking some theists. Well, I personally not, can't figure it out myself. I think it might, that it might be, excuse me, are, did you want to rant again while I was talking? I don't know, I thought you were asking questions. No, I'm not done, I wasn't done talking, but if you want to block me from speaking, you can go right ahead and rant. And I thought you were asking questions. Are you, demonstrate you're asking demonstrate questions? exactly what I'm talking about. This so did, you want, did you want to continue to interrupt me? Well, I thought you were asking questions. Okay, if good. You keep questions. on interrupting me, you're exemplifying what I'm talking about. Go ahead, Gus. Okay. Well, you know, I, mean, I think I think both of us are showing the worst of ourselves here, because honestly, you're doing exactly what I was talking about: being absolutely uncharitable, being an asshole, being mean. You, know, you asked a bunch of questions, and then when somebody tried to answer them, you turned into a tit. I mean, this is exactly what I'm talking about. And as much as everybody sees my propensity to be fucking moralistic or righteous or holier than thou. They're seeing you for what you are, too. 
that mirror is swinging both ways. That looking glass, pardon me, is swinging both ways. So who's better off? You say why? Why are why are these people focused? You know these people. You, you say these people are focused on you, and yet you seem completely oblivious as to the possible reasons why. You think it's because we're all deranged? Really? Is it? Do you think you think we're all just <laughs> we're all um, nuts? The answer is yes. Really? Now, where would that assessment come from? Are you a psych major? Got any any background in psychology? Are you done interrupting? So that's a question you're not going to answer, okay? Are you done interrupting me speaking? I don't know. It's up to you. Or are you going to choose it's to always block to me you. from speaking on the microphone? It's always been up to you. That's what you won't get through your head is it's okay. always been up to I'll you. Okay, I'll try one more time. Are you done interrupting me? It's always been up to you. Okay, so I'll, I'll just assume that he's done interrupting. Um, yeah, and it seems that in certain rooms where there is little to no moderation... Um, the people who ha I'll say have the Power Rangers mentality because it's not restricted to those who just wear the Power Ranger co costumes that they're bound and determined not just to disagree not just to challenge but to bloviate, insult and block me from speaking so I think that's more of an indication of what their true motivations are rather than I'm a bully so what we just heard for the last literal hour was an attempt by someone who doesn't like me to block me from actually having a conversation with him and to actually block me from speaking. Well, the, the problem that this goes on, it, the problem isn't Gus and the problem isn't the Power Rangers. The problem is the ineffectual um, moderation in the room by the room owner and by those who have the, the power of mods where they could stop this very bad behavior in a heartbeat and they can say, you have two minutes, you have two minutes. You have two minutes. But in this room, we see consistently that the room owner and the moderators would prefer that a circus go on rather than uh, adult, intelligent, back and forth, agreement, disagreement, and so forth. So that's all this room is. It's a zoo. And I'm done. And yet you keep coming. Uh, I, keep do, coming I, do, I do keep visiting the zoo. I like the zoo. Why? It's entertaining. Oh, so you're really not that upset about poor moderation after all, are you? Yeah, I I asked the um the external live chat like if they wanted me to intervene, and they all said no. So I just kind of didn't want to like get in the way of anything. And by the way, Darwin, they fucking hate me on external chats. They hate me. The external chats are, are, are where most of the people go that don't want to come into the hangout and tell me what a shitbird I am to my face. And if all of those people detest me, and yet they still want me to go on for an hour, that should be another canary in the coal mine that maybe the problem here isn't necessarily me. Just a thought. Gus, did you ever think of going back to school and becoming a psychiatrist? No. <sighs> you? No. No. So so be it. It's hard to be right. a psychiatrist. I mean, that so, should be yeah. a comedian. Yeah. Well, I go I go into a variety of rooms, and one of my motivations is through hook or crook to reveal the very nature of skepticism, um, and and atheism for for what it is. And I, I think that yeah, I can see you nodding there, uh, Seamus. Um, I think that the reaction that I get for what I say, how I dialogue and uh, debate people, is a big revelation to the people out there that are neutral and are trying to understand the difference between the various mindsets between the, the theists, the Christians, and the skeptics, and the atheists. What you will find is pretty much um, uh, most of the skeptics behaving badly, although there are some uh, theists who behave, behave badly like G-Man and uh, Matt Bell. But I think that more often than not, the theists are much better behaved than, than the atheists. So when the atheists chronically attack me, from time to time it's irritating and I'll express it. But at the end of the day, I smile because they're showing their true colors and that they're really driven not by their intellect, not by the power of their reason, 
but by their passions that there is no God, and they want to stifle anybody who might try to reason to the contrary. Did you get well, having said that, I will show you that I might not be as intellectually uh, up to it as you are, but I do have honor. Well, I would agree with you there. But I do have honor. The jury is out to whether or not you have some. But I will show you the honor. You answered my question. I will keep my word, and I'll keep it starting now. 24 hours. Enjoy them. Wow, what a blessing. By the way, Seamus, with your beard...